What's up, guys? We've got a special treat for you here today. We're here with Dan Dris Driscoll from Resurrection Cycle Works. How you doing, buddy? How are you? Now, th these boys are Jersey Jersey boys, hardcore Jersey boys. They're from Brooklyn, New York. There's four of them here. These two guys work together on us. They built this bike. The, the name of the bike is the Barracuda, and it's long, lean, and mean, and it's got big teeth. These are the teeth right here. I guess the first clue is look at the Vance and Heinz competition exhaust. Dan, tell us a little bit about this motor. This thing, I mean, it had me at hello. I guess the, the, the giant jug is another uh, clue, but tell us a little bit about what you built here. Well, the bike really started out as a drag bike. It got to be a little bit too much on the street. Um, it was running an N50 tire on the back, so I thought I'd try and get something that can ride a little easier. So this but, motor was in, in a uh, built for this configuration, and you had it in another frame? This bike was in a drag bike. Oh, it was in a drag bike. This, but, actually, from oh, here to the other side is, is the original frame, and this is all added on to that frame. So this isn't like a Paco frame or, or no, a sir. board. Well, I thought it was a board. board. I thought this it was all handmade. Board. It looks like a Bourget, but from yeah. here forward, this is stock Kawasaki stock part of it. Stock the cradle, cradle stock original Kawasaki. Yep, right from about here to about three quarters of the way up. The cradle is bone stock. And you had problems hooking it up with a small tire, it was spinning too much? Uh, no, the opposite. I had, when it was in a drag bike, I had an N50 on it. You had a car tire. Right? I had oh, a car tire. Oh. It was a square yeah. tone car tire. Okay, I get it. Yeah. But it would spin the tire in second gear wow. on that bike. But the bike, I felt, was, you know, couldn't turn it. Like, I almost killed myself in Paramus one day. So I was like, yeah, I got to change it up. But It's awesome. Yeah. Change it up. But Thank still, you. So, it was what it is. So the, the, the thing that, that um, I mean, obviously, it's a custom-built chopper, and I think you did most of the welding work on yes, this, sir. right? Yes, sir. And, uh, We'll get into that for a second, but let's go over the build of the engine build. What what kind of jug you got on here? Star. That's a star block. Is that like one of the premier drag racing blocks? I think it was at one time, yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Are, they, are they still in business? That's a good question. I don't really know. So it's yeah. 1327 cc's? 1327 and Where's Jimmy? Was Jimmy still in? He took off. I guess it was a little too rough for him. But the, uh, the head on this thing is really special too. It's an eight plug head. What's the scoop with that? Well, four extra plugs. You get a better burn. Uh, it's got a high compression engine, so basically, it's how do you, how do, you do that? Like a machinist has to uh, obviously machine. Yeah, you can see it right here. See these small plugs? Well, that would be the original. See the small one? Yep. That's just line board, and then they bore the one in the back here. Four so, more so plugs. A good machine shop can do that for you. Absolutely. Has the head been modified? Anything other than that? Other is it ported? You know? Uh, it is ported. Yes, it's ported. Um, big valves. GPC style uh, valve adjustment in it, meaning it was, it's a, a shim under the bucket instead of on top like Kawasaki does. When you got big cams in, in, in like a Kawasaki, yep. it's much easier to lift the shim out of it. These are not the stock cams, of course, right? These are no, no. high performance cams. Yes. A lot of head work. So you got oversized valves, eight mm -hmm. plugs in there, mm -hmm. killer cams, um, and a huge bank of four 40 millimeter Makunis, which uh, is uh, definitely going to give you plenty of gas, hence the oversized fuel lines, because this thing's going to suck some major fuel once it's wide open. Sure it does. And this header, too. Tell us about the header. Uh, I think uh, Vance and Himes was making them at one time, which they're not anymore. If you can find them, you're, you're lucky. Uh, very there, expensive. There's no baffle in this thing. No, this not is, at all. No, just straight up race. No, plan. and if you look closely, you see my cranking, crankcase vent? Yep. Is actually vented to the bottom of the of the header. Now that's cool. So you can suck the fumes out. Here, that's awesome. Right through here. And it'll sort of uh, almost yeah. like after burn it and, and yeah. it won't get on your tire, which you don't want happening when you're putting this kind of horsepower yeah. down. Now you said you'd never dynoed it, but uh, it'd be interesting to put this on a dyno. I mean, a stock a stock one's pushing, what, uh, 70, 80 horsepower. Yeah. yeah. So all corked up. So this one here has got to be well north of, of 100, 100 and who knows? I mean, I, I would say about 150. About 150 horse, yeah, right? Yeah, I would say, yeah. I thought it was a nitrous bottle at first, nope. the NOS uh, label, but that actually is the wiring harness is, is built into that, hidden in there. And uh, also, so uh, any special work to the clutch or transmission? Stock Kawasaki clutches, which are very good. Uh, it is hydraulic. This is all ZX-11 style stuff, adjustable. And then again, you've got a proportionate valve under the tank, which controls your braking. There is no brake 
rear brake lever. So it has all one in here. lever, like on oh, some of the modern bikes, neutral neutral front rear. What is it? What is it proportioned to? Is it like 70, 30 or, or 60, yeah, 40? Or? Well, you can dial it in until you like what it what it does. It's right right here. That little knob right there. That's pretty that'll, cool. That'll cut the fluid off back and That's front. That's awesome. But I tell you, this thing stops on a dime. Hey, you never, you never see that. You never see that. So, Junior, you and Jimmy, Jimmy, uh, Laurinaitis over here, we were talking yesterday about building a drag bike. What was the spec? You guys spent about a half an hour debating. What, what was your spec you came up with? Right. Um, Jimmy has a mentality that bigger is better. And uh, no, we had a 45 minute conversation just on building uh, late 70s and early 80s Kawasaki motors. And uh, we were gonna do one with the cases off the 900, but Jimmy was, was saying you get phenomenal results with a, even just a small, uh, bore increase like from the 900 up up to like a like a like a 1075. 1075 kits are really, really good. Right, that's yeah. that that that's what Jimmy was saying, but he was saying that this is 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 the cat's ass right here, and then lo and behold, one rolls in the show with a yeah. That's kind. Of, I'll call that a guidance and so, right. <laughs> Jimmy's no, about to no, build no, one, and one shows up, you know, the next day. I heard the sidewinder pipe downstairs. I'm like, you know what it was? Just by yeah. now, this is a dude right here. That it can tell what what motor and exhaust it is by the sound. Yeah. You know he's totally obsessed. He's one of us. <laughs> Absolutely, I, I have the same claim to fame. But uh, I, the, the pipe, I, I don't think I would have noticed that. How did you? How could you tell it was a sidewinder pipe just by listening to it? Yeah, the sound after drag racing the bikes for so long. You pick it. You, it never goes away. The sound. Yeah. You pick it right up. They do. Yeah. That's awesome. Another interesting thing about this bike is the dual plug head. Now that can stop on the ELR Kawasaki's. Oh, Eddie Lawson replicas had those? Correct, but they were a J head motor. So this is really unique seeing an old KZ style head uh, dual plugged. And it definitely helps with the big chamber. Because, you know, Dan, you had said you weren't happy with the way the carburation was set up right now. Uh, there was a slight hesitation. I thought Jimmy might, shed, that's why I dragged him up here. Yeah, so, I, I think it's over carbureted to tell you the truth because I did play with the jetting a little bit. Um, it's running now the best with the combination of pilot jets in there right now. This would be an easy set of carbs for us to sell on eBay or something if you wanted to change to a set of smaller smooth bores or something. Yeah. What would you recommend? Some like 34 millimeters. That, that's some what CV carbs off of uh, street bikes even. They're not the same spread. How big are those? Holy, holy shit. <laughs> They're good. If that bike had, had nitrous on it, you were drag racing it, it'd be good then. Forties. You would put CVs on this? An emission car on that? Yeah? Street, yeah, the torque come way up. Dan, we didn't mention the crank work you had done on this. You had split the cases. What's been done to the lower end? It's a stock crank, but it's been welded and balanced by Falicon. Nice. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, rods are shot peened. White scope pistons. All of that. But yeah. What's the compression ratio on the pistons, do you know? It's higher than 10, I'll tell you that. I'm, yeah. I'm not positive on this one. Tell you, the truth. you can tell when you hit the starter button, it, it's a uh, it's yeah. a hefty compression. Yeah, well, yeah. when you get up into the, even the 13s and stuff, these stock small starters give you a problem. My 78. Is can you fire it up? Did we we haven't started it yet? Have we on the on this no, video? video? No. no. Dan, would you mind firing this bad boy up? Sure. Where's Moses? Moses took off. So Dan's had this bike for many years, and Moses is the one who named it. He says, looked at the bike, he goes, it's a Barracuda, you know, in his brochure. He's from the islands. Yeah, he's from the islands. He goes, it's a Barracuda. It's got big teeth. Ha ha! It's
That's your company logo right there, Resurrection Cycle Works. Caught my eye with the, yes, sir. the Maltese yeah. cross there. What does what the, the um, label represent to you there? Well, when we first started out, it was all junk bikes and just building them and putting, you know, all those pretty much ratty bikes back together and yeah, kind of working garbage, up, you know. A lot of garbage we took. Though, worked right? up to like Harley service and all of that. Uh, in the beginning, do what you got to do. Where's your shop located? It's in Patterson right now. Patterson, New Jersey? Yes. Yeah, That's not yeah. far from, uh, you know where the service diner was in Patterson? Yeah. That was my uncle's diner. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Uncle Jimmy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm, um, you know where Duffy's uh, Bar is, the Bar and yep. Grill? Yeah, I'm about two blocks from there. Yep, used to go there with my pops and uh, drink when I was underage. <laughs> so did my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I quit drinking a long time ago, but it is part of my story. I drank a little too much for 14 years and got a little trouble, but uh, August 26, 1991 is the last time I've drank. But we used to go down to Clifton with my, with my uncle, Uncle Ronnie. He's got you beat. He does have me. He's got you beat. Yeah, yeah. 28 years. Two, two months dry right now. 28 years Christmas Eve. Hey, better late than never, man. Yeah, man. My dad only died, lived to 59 because he drank too much. But Dan, t tell me what the scoop is over here. It looks like you got some seriously uh, custom work over here. What's the scoop with this? Which one? Uh, the, the, all this in here. Well, this is your hy hydraulic clutch right in here. It's bolted right to here. This is just your offset yeah. to get past your 250 tire. It does have a 250 wheel, yeah. 18 250 in the back. Does mm -hmm. that put more stress on the tranny having the, 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 the must, right? Having well, the... yeah, but you can see, but this is all a support. Oh, so it won't move. So yeah. this is bolted to the engine case. Yeah. Kind of hold all that stress, like you said. Yeah. Which is all hand fabricated. Oh. Nice little airbrush work there. Saddle's all custom. Uh, and these guys built this frame. This is not a purchased frame. All the molding work was done by you, right? Yes, sir. So um, it looked like a Bourget from the back. It's that kind of style of fat oversized tubing but it's made it to the original kawasaki cradle which was good because you have you know the tolerances for the frame and engine mount are perfect yeah so, this, all this stuff was added on later too because of the chain slap you got a, a, a roller yep i've seen that before yeah. you know you build a custom bike and, well, and what i did is i took the front sprocket and put a bearing in it nice and that's kind of bolted to that just to Almost like a chain uh, guy. adjuster yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here, uh, you had to you had to modify the fender too, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, even after the, it went together, there's still some little spots where you had to, you know, mess with. You know, yep. Uh, any custom bullet like yeah. this is going to require some but very uh, little modification. To tell you the truth, you know? yeah. Everything went together raw, and then it was painted and all that. I'd love to see this thing, this this engine in a drag bike and see what it would do in the quarter mile because the way it's set up now it probably wouldn't be the hot setup for drag racing but it'd be your kids yeah absolutely we'll definitely talk uh this may this bike may be for sale so we'll find out well Dan thank you for coming up and sharing your yeah, journey you. here yeah nice meeting this you build uh, yeah, do you have I'm a website where people can is there a website people can check out your your, your other builds or uh, there is a uh like a Facebook thing. I don't think there's a website. Okay. Resurrection Cycles. Cool. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. Thanks a lot, folks, uh, for watching so far. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell right next to it, and you'll get notified when we put new videos up. Stay tuned. More kick-ass bikes to come today, including the CR500, as always. And God bless America.